Thank you, Jason. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Let's start off with a roll call. Council President Corman. Here. Council Member Perez. Here. Council Member Van. Here. Council Member Benedetti. Here. Council Member O'Halloran. Here. Council Member McIrvin. Here. Council Member Prince. Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All present. Okay, thank you, Jason. Uh, first up tonight, we have a proclamation for National Mentoring Month. Hey, proclamation. Whereas, whereas our success as a community depends on helping every child succeed in school and reach their full potential in life and realizing that young people need a solid foundation of support to help them become well-educated, confident, and productive citizens. And whereas Communities and Schools is the only dropout prevention program in the nation proven to increase graduation, graduation rates, plus research shows that mentoring has beneficial and long-term effects on youth by increasing their chances of high school graduation and college attendance and decreasing the likelihood of substance abuse and other risk, risky behaviors. And whereas the core values of communities in schools of rent and Tukwila are equity, opportunity, and collaboration, and their mission is to remove barriers, create opportunities, and help kids stay in school. And whereas hundreds of Renton's children need a caring adult mentor in their lives, and closing this mentoring gap will require more investment, partnerships, and volunteers ready to make a difference in a child's life. And whereas National Mentoring Month is an opportunity to raise public awareness of the importance of mentoring, recognize the dedicated individuals who serve as mentors, and encourage more citizens to help build a brighter future for Renton's youth through mentoring. Now, therefore, I, Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton, do hereby proclaim January uh, 2021 to be National Mentoring Month in the City of Renton in tribute to the many dedicated individuals who volunteer their time, compassion, and talents to mentor young people. And I encourage all citizens to join me in this special observance and to consider giving back to our community as mentors. And witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Renton to be affixed this 11th day of January, 2021, signed Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. President Corman. Yeah, I move the council concur in the proclamation. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Corman, seconded by Council Member Gervin. The council concur with the proclamation. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. And tonight we have with us uh, Kathy Ulrich to accept the proclamation. Mr. Mayor, I don't see Kathy in the audience. Okay. Do we have uh, somebody else to accept it then? Okay. Well, we will make sure that we get this to the um, Communities and Schools group. So um, I, I will say that um, I know you're all familiar with Communities and Schools and their program. I've been a mentor for the last six years, and it really is an amazing experience. Um, I, I've had two different individuals. Um, this year has changed uh, dramatically. We're not able to meet in person. Um, uh, my student I wasn't able to actually meet with in the beginning of the year and, and hopefully we'll get reconnected here in the second part of um, second part of the school year but um, it really is an amazing opportunity and, and anybody out there in the audience that is interested in, in participating make sure you get a hold of communities and schools it really is an amazing um, opportunity so I see Kim Khan has raised her hand council member Vaughn Yes, Mr. Mayor, thank you. And I just wanted to uh, echo your, uh, well, I'm trying to lower my hand here as well. Um, just for a week. But I, I wanted to thank CUNY's in school and all the great work that they've done. And uh, I witnessed firsthand on uh, New Year's Eve practically delivering food meals to our students. And so I think that's very much uh, showing the work and their, um, you know, contribution to our community. So thank you so much to the group. Absolutely. Okay, next up we have administrative reports. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, Renton City Council. This is your administrative report. 
Parks Planning and Natural Resources Forestry Division and IT GIX are pleased to announce the new City of Renton Tree Inventory Database has been updated. The new data is live and current in core maps. You will notice additional trees have been cataloged in places like Heritage Park, Riverview Park, the north end of Jean Coulon Memorial Beach Park, Renton Municipal Airport, the Public Works Yard, the Maplewood Golf Course, to name a few. This is the culmination of a year-long effort to update tree counts, tree measurements, condition ratings, maintenance needs, and available planning spots. Please contact the City Forester at Ian Gray at rentonwa.gov. That's I G R A Y at rentonwa.gov or map support at rentonwa.gov with any questions. Due to high water levels, the City River Trail Lower Walk is closed between Bronson Way North and Wells Avenue North. For your safety, please follow directions on all posted signage. Contact Community Services at 425 430 6600 for more information. Information about preventative street maintenance, traffic impact projects, and road closures happening this week can be found at rentonwa.gov forward slash traffic. And that is your administrative report, sir. Okay, thank you. Next, we'll open the remote uh, audience comment period. It remains the strong intent of the city to have public comment regularly included on our agendas. Each speaker will be given five minutes to speak. You'll be called upon by a city staff member. The staff member will call the speaker's name and unmute the appropriate microphone, which will send an automatic prompt to the speaker of, you have been unmuted. This is the speaker's cue that it's their turn to speak. Please begin your comments by stating your name, city of residence, and the topic you are addressing. Speakers are able to see a timer on the screen when you're close to your time uh, expiring, please work on finishing your comments. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no one signed up in advance to speak this evening. For those who signed into Zoom, if you would like to speak, please use your computer to raise your hand. If you have joined by calling in and you would like to speak, you can raise your hand by pressing star nine. I see no one in the audience who would like to speak at this time, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Next up is the consent agenda. We have two items for council consideration. Uh, Mr. Mayor? Yes, Council President Corman. I'd like to ask if any council member would like any of these items removed for separate consideration. Okay, seeing none, I move approval of the consent agenda as published. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council President Corman, seconded by Council Member McGurvin, that the Council approve the consent agenda as published. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carried. And next up, we have unfinished business. Council President Corman. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Perez. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Van. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Benedetti. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member O'Halloran. Yes, Mr. Mayor. The Finance Committee has four reports. Okay, our first uh, Finance Committee committee report is regarding approval of claims and payroll vouchers for January 11th, 2021. The Finance Committee approves the following payments, accounts payable, total payments of $18,894,668.58 uh, for a number of vouchers, including payroll benefit withholding vouchers and four wire transfers, uh, two payroll total payment of $2,956,081.51 for payroll vouchers, including 1,120 direct deposits and three checks. This is the November 16th through November 30th uh, 2020 and the December 1st through uh, December 15th uh, 2020 pay periods and then Kidder Matthews vouchers totaling $29,743.63 and finally municipal court vouchers totaling $3,600.86. Mr. Mayor. Mr. I move that council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. It's been moved by Council Member O'Halloran and seconded by Council Member Prince that the Council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 
Okay, motion carries. Okay, the next report is regarding uh, construction management services with uh, Murray Smith Incorporated for the Downtown Utility Improvement Project. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to authorize the Mayor and City Clerk to execute the agreement with Murray Smith Incorporated in the amount of $1,597,678 for construction management services related to the Downtown Utility Improvement Project. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Halloran. I move that Council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember O'Halloran, seconded by Councilmember Prince, that the Council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the next report is regarding hiring a senior benefits analyst position at Step D of Salary Grade M25. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to authorize a new higher salary of Step D grade M25 for Erica E, Senior Benefits Analyst in the H, uh, HRRM Department, effective January 11, 2021. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Halloran. I move that the Council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, second by Councilmember Prince. Council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the final Finance Committee report is regarding hiring a budget and accounting manager at Step E of grade M33. The Finance Committee recommends approving the Finance Division's request to hire Kristen uh, Trevellis for the vacant position of budget and accounting manager at grade M33 Step E, effective January 19th, 2021. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Halloran, seconded by Councilmember Prince, that the council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Halloran. I'd like to just take this moment to acknowledge Jan Hahn's contribution to our great city, uh, this being her last council meeting with us, and to just wish her all the best in the next chapter of her, her, uh, her life. I agree. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's all, Mr. Thank you. Councilmember McGurvin. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor. The uh, Planning and Development Committee has a committee report. Okay, Planning and Development Committee report, uh, January 11th, 2021, regarding adoption of 2018 construction codes. The Planning and Development Committee recommends concurrence with the staff recommendation to amend the written municipal code that adopts the 2018 construction codes. This will allow the city to utilize the same code as adopted by the same state of Washington. These codes include the building code, residential code, mechanical code, property maintenance code, accessibility code, and others. The committee further recommends that an ordinance regarding this matter be presented for first reading. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Prince. I move that council concur with the uh, Planning and Development Committee committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember Perez. Does the council concur with the Planning and Development Committee uh, committee report? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. And that's all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, let's see here. We do have uh, one ordinance for first reading. Okay, this ordinance is regarding the building code amendments as uh, just mentioned. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending subsection 4530B2, section 4540, subsections 4550A and 4550C, uh, and sections 4551, 4555, 
four, uh, 590, 45100, 45110, and 45130 of the Rent Municipal Code, adopting by reference and amending the most recent versions of the Rent and Electrical Code, the International Building Code, the Washington State Energy Code, the International Residential Code, the International Mechanical Code, the National Fuel Gas Code, the Uniform Plumbing Code, and the International Property Maintenance Code, providing for severability and establishing an effective date. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember yes. Prince. I move the ordinance be placed on second and final reading at the next council meeting. Second. It's been moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember Perez, that the ordinance be placed on second and final reading at the next council meeting. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Next up is new business. Uh, council President Corman. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Um, first, a reminder that there, there are no meetings um, a week from today, January 18th, uh, in celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. And then um, I guess I'll just announce that on January 25th, at uh, uh, Monday, 7 p.m., we'll have a council meeting uh, via video conference. And that's all I have, Mr. Mayor. I think you need to... Oh, yeah, I think I should, yes. Thank you. We'll, on January 25th as well, we will be actually canceling Committee of the Whole that day. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Councilmember Perez. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Councilmember Van. Uh, no new business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, Councilmember Benedetti. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember O'Halloran. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. On January 25th at 4 p.m., the Finance Committee will meet via video conferencing. We have two items on the agenda, vouchers and emerging issues in finance. And that's all, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, Councilmember McGurvin. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor, on Monday, January 25th at 5 p.m., the Planning and Development Committee will meet via video conference. We have three items on the agenda, 2021 Long Range Planning Work Program, Growth Targets Briefing, and Emerging Issues in CED. And that's all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Okay, what's the wish of the council? Move, we adjourn. Second. Okay, it's moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember our uh, President uh, Corman. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye.